I'm Ben Rags. Do the intro. Hi. Um, I saw a duck in a tree today. That was did exciting. You? I did a um, did a did a walk a bit early because we do our recording, and I went around the. We got some lakes around here. Just walking around the lake, and uh, there's like houses. It's like in a suburb. There's houses on the outside. Uh, I guess that's normally where houses are, but. Sure enough, there's this duck comes flying and he's going up and he just lands on a lands on a big old tree branch. And I'm like, wow, you don't see ducks in trees much. There he was good. just up there on his uh, on his tree branch, just hanging out. I was like, huh. You don't often see ducks up in the trees. You always it's imagine nuts. them being on the ground or in a little lake chilling yeah, out on the we water. Fix that. I see ducks oh, everywhere, I... but I never see them on trees like that. It was Hopefully enough to make me go like, oh, wow. Ducks <laughs> and trees. Yeah. It's spring. The... Birds are chirping outside. All of the the grass is green, and the trees have are lush with leaves. All the turtles and the ducks and the fishies are out, and uh, it's lovely. It's, it's just it's it's just wonderful and lovely. All the people are getting their fresh air and their sun. Um, yeah. Well, are we watching? We're watching Mando, right? Oh, I thought the 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 idea of that was going to be that, and then you realized you had to watch Mando, and that's the opposite of like a fun, happy. Place. Oh, like a fun, happy thing. Yeah, I'd rather be in out and enjoying nature than watching Mandalorian. More and more people are starting to come around to that position, oh, yeah. especially over the course of this season of Mandalorian, which is interesting. Popularity we... is at an all-time low. It what seems happened? to be, and whatever the goodwill this show had, like it's been eroded. Yeah, watching everybody too. Even episode one, I think people were like, "Eh." Some people thought that episode two was okay. Yeah, I mean, what yeah, the, <laughs> that, uh, that was, was when they go to Mandalore. Oh, right? of uh -huh. course. Wait, people thought that was... it, it might be years until we are vindicated for our <laughs> correct opinion that Mandalorian <laughs> was always bad. From Rhymes. the first season, it was bad. And the second season was like more obviously bad, but pretty much just as bad. And this one's even more obviously yeah. bad. The reason why I find the question interesting is because the writing is is like the same as ever, but like what what changed with season three to make it to where people are starting to realize that it's bad. I and it's I wonder the flavor, if, like, the aesthetic. If I were to make an appeal to the writing, it would be that we are we are aimless right now. We are like actually aimless in a way that wasn't the case in season one and two because there was still the overarching central narrative about Get the getting baby, baby over to where he needs to go. Yeah. yeah. Didn't we think that originally the over arching plot of this season would be Mando becoming a Mandalorian again. We thought yes. that that would be the, uh, the thing for the season, but then it was resolved in episode three. Two. Yeah. two. Well, yeah, really. two. He, he cashed in it's the quest a, in three. Yeah, 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 exactly. Which is basically all that happened in between a random encounter in the open world, like when he was getting back to Mandalore. Oh, getting guess back to not, the planet with the cave. And I assume that uh, the IG-11 thing is just done. He'll probably come back in the finale. That'd be my guess. But well, yeah, the reason maybe, why he yeah. comes back, I have no idea. We're going to do a big team up we always do isn't it the like, yeah, yeah. Well, i'm expecting boba fett will come back he'll be bo katan the i think we'll see moff both. gideon yeah we'll see moff gideon this episode yeah. mando army has a team they... up we'll have probably you know like the death robots we had in season two it's something worse than that this time it's gonna be even more scary mm -hmm. or something yeah. um, i wonder if they make up to get the ig <laughs> unit back because then they say that the <laughs> he needed a new unit the unit got uh, destroyed now, like the, the that was memory circuit. whatever yeah. was left over in his head because it got crushed. I programmed the memory in. How did you do that? That's very impressive. Shut up. Yeah, maybe Grief Cog will be with him. Yeah, probably. It'll man, be maybe. a big, a big <laughs> team up of all, all of the, uh, all of the, the characters you know and love. Everyone just. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what, <laughs> uh, even the dragon, the crocodile, will come back just to. <laughs> With this dinky little blast. <laughs> He's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll save course. you. What celebrities are gonna we are, are we gonna see this week? Are we done? Uh, maybe we'll see. I'm gonna. Like Boba Fett. I'm thinking Dick Van Dyke. Yeah. And um, who who else? Who who am I feeling? I'm 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 rubbing my noggin. I'm mm. I'm looking. I'm gazing into the crystal ball. Oh. Which celebrities will they bring out oh. in the new Star Wars production this week? Maybe on I see Dick Van Dyke. I see, um, I see... Logan Paul, he's in everything these days. Ooh, yeah. Logan Paul, good, yeah, that's a good I think him guess. and Dick Logan Van Dyke Paul. and Arnold Schwarzenegger, are like, they're like a trio of Mandalorian. Ooh, that's Hunters. a good one too. Do we nah. need like a, a more uh, like a pop artist, like a like a singer or a dancer? Bad like Bunny. That? Uh, Bad Bunny, who's that? Yeah, some rapper, he's in everything as well. 
Oh, okay. he. Oh, I, I hear the word <laughs> Bad Bunny and I assume it's a lady. I don't know him from his music. I only know him because he turned up in WWE. <laughs> oh, <time>. okay. <laughs> oh, in... wrestlers would be perfect for Mando cameos. They could be in the they could be the Gamorrean guards or just big yeah. chunky dudes. Yeah, well, and the they, one man, they have... the one Mandalorian lady, that's a wrestler. Okay, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we did have a wrestler, right? Cara Dune, but she yeah, that's the one I meant. Yeah, she's she got she's in special forces now. No, she went know. to Japan. I don't know what doing that Japan means. Right now. <laughs> no, she's she just she's still doing wrestling, this, but in Japan. This little Japanese ladies, is she fucking them up? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Pretty much. She taking on the big sumo boys. There's like the Ooh. idea that it's like, did she do this activity or this activity? She went to Japan. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's so clear to me when I say that. It's like, oh wait, oh, I. <laughs> Uh, you Japan pro wrestling still doing the wrestling. I was I was the... chin wagon with old Raggleton uh, about how I thought you Rag... were about to say a wrestler named from Japan. <laughs> chin waggling. <laughs> Japan. <laughs> chin waggling. <laughs> I thought you were doing a meme. <laughs> chin. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh. Uh, All right. so what I meant to say was uh, I was talking with friends family <laughs> and uh yeah good reference uh the so I, I, admit, I was talking with them about how like in season one nothing fucking happens and then in the last ep penultimate episode is established we have a huge army of bad guys and Moff Gideon is there and we wipe him out and we blow him up and then it's like oh he's not actually dead Ooh. Like, oh. Okay. Season two, huge new army. Remember, it's even bigger than last time. He had like spaceships and a huge robot army, and oh, we blew it all up. And we blew him up. Well, we didn't really blow him up, but we put him in jail. And it's like he's done, done. <laughs> and in in a post credit scene, or at least something like it, they've already said no, he's out. He's fine. And who What's wants to bet he's got himself a new fucking army that we're gonna have to destroy? Well, if you, um... I think there might be no a problem. little bit of a continuity issue because in uh, no. the season finale of episode, or sorry, season one, we just saw him standing on top of the TIE fighter. He wasn't actually caught or anything and he had the dark saber. So I assume he walked over to the secret base, right? I guess so. God, right? that's a long walk. So I, he probably has like a cell phone, right? Maybe. And he probably, because he knows about the base, surely. Did, does that ever come up? That, I don't know. I did that, that base got Whatever. blowed up as well, right? Yeah, it did later in season two. When they invented it. See, that's, but, um, we did that in between season one and two. So they always just go like, look, loads of bad guys. Oh, they got blowed up. We're never going to get the um, stormtroopers after the... Because season one sort of, it teased the idea that they might do something interesting with the Empire. Yeah. Uh, you know, with them being like a like a smaller fledgling force on the run from a new republic or you know local governments, things of that nature, and they didn't have the support they used to. But like anyone who's loyal to the empire still must have like a really like a really deep reason for sticking with the program. You know, still wearing the armor and going through the you know motions and things like that. Which could be really interesting, but I, I guess they just never did that. The reason it's worth bringing up, though, is that uh, <laughs> we got two episodes left, so if, if the plot's going to kick in, it's now. I Only... it's just so fascinating that every every episode we record, like, something comes up, it's like, oh, look at all these things, all that potential you could tap into and do really cool things. And it's like, no, we have Jack Black and Flimzo, or whatever fucking name is. Flimzo. Like, okay. Flimzo, same thing. Yeah. Before we can check out what new horrors they have for us, it's time for Comet Showcase. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Episode four um, comment showcase. They're clearly attacking the water because they know how dangerous it can be to slip over in it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if we shoot it out. indefinitely, we can dry up the whole lake through heat. You'd think that living by the water, they would be like, oh, this is a good opportunity to teach everyone how to swim. That's a good <laughs> thing to know how to do. That's not like, I don't think you can forget how to swim. It's just, you know, one of those. You, kind of learn, some, you know, could, yeah. These people ought to swim. Yeah. But then they're like, oh, it's full of crocagators from space and they're going to eat us. So maybe we better not. Do you think they're the preemptive shooters? They're not actually training for anything. They're just shooting just in case the crocagator actually gets <laughs> his way up <laughs> there. Pew, pew. Keep well, shooting. the reason it came is because it's like Del Lago. If you keep shooting the water, it comes out and it wants to eat you. Yeah. So they keep yeah. shooting the water and throwing rockets and stuff in there. You're going to agitate the wildlife and it's going to come and eat you. And as we know, it is Star Wars wildlife, so it's immune to all weaponry. Mm. 
Except every starships. single one. Anything that can really take it out. Maybe only a Death Star can take out the Crocogator at this point. I don't know. I love the implication that every time the Foundling is taken by a giant pterodactyl, they chase him to the point of using all fuel in their jetpacks and walk to their hideout on foot, empty-handed. What a miserable bunch of incompetent warriors. Huh. You know what would be really mm. cool little techno world building that these shows could be full of but never are? If once the jetpack was about to get to halfway empty, it started to emit like a warning, beep, 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 half yeah. capacity, you're about the halfway point. Because typically, like when you go scuba diving, you want to, like, when, well, I think when, you, when your tank gets to be about, it's been, it's been so many years since I did my scuba classes, but... I think when the tank's about halfway empty, that's when you start making your return journey mm. uh, or, or just before then, you know, you want to give yourself ample, uh, you know, fuel and stuff to get back. Mm -hmm. So that'd be one of those nice little bitty touches that would make the world feel a little bit more real. What would an actual jetpack kind of do if it was a, a real product that was sold well, to rags. people? That was the first time on mass we've ever seen like fuel running out that quick on all the jetpacks. Yeah. It's kind of like, whoa. I guess it's a montage. We don't know how how long they went, right? Do you think they chased it like halfway across the planet? <laughs> They're like, finally, the jetpack yeah. runs out. I guess logically it makes sense that they didn't go very far because they had to walk back, and they made it back before Bo-Katan did in her ship, right? It made more so, sense than to not chase it at all, though. To just be like, we know where it's going. Let's use this, yeah, up. let's... Let's hop in this spaceship and go chase them. Well, oh. apparently they don't have any. I was about to say, they I don't even know where it's going, right? Because Bo-Katan's the one that finds out where it went. They never found out where its nest was. Because what's the, is it just always run out of fuel. Chasing it is tradition, I guess. Like, that's what you do, and then you <laughs> run out, and then we don't get the kid back. That's what happens. Oh, I was waiting all month for this. this Finally, a foundling this got is, captured. This is, this is the way. This is the way. Everybody. I just can't believe they don't have any starships at all. Like, they just Not that even get got a space Uber and just, can we go to this planet? <laughs> One way, please. <laughs> I like the part where they flew to right under the nest, camped for the night, and quietly went to the nest the next day to rescue the kid without any sense of hurry. And then suddenly, the Paz Vizsla guy is worried that the kid is in danger because he remembered it's his son. <laughs> I was like, oh, right, Wait, that's my that son. that one's my son. It's hard to tell him apart when you... <laughs> but he's like, he's right? like rushing and stumbling to get the kid. It's like, oh, God, my son. It's like, oh, wh God. when was... What? <laughs> Do you think they only have those hems on because every time they tap into action, they get a little sound bite from the Mandalorian? Like they jump into anything, you're like, bow, 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 like over the headset. I yeah, think that's the reason why. Giant speakers in the world that play that sound effect and they hate it. So and yeah. pad themselves from it, yeah. I really like the fact that Paz Vizsla suddenly spawned a kid. The Book of Boba Fett, there's only three of us left. Mandalorian Season 3, <gasps> my son! I mean, it's probably worth being like, and yeah, wait, didn't they say there's only three of us left? Look how many there are. And also, the speech right. that Mando gave when he was rallying the troops to go back to uh, Navarro, he said, those of you who do know who Grief Karga is, it's like, well, those of you, isn't it only two of you? Everybody else that's here wasn't there, right? Exactly. It's like they've forgotten their own history that only, because when I was thinking about that line, it's like, wait a minute. No, there was only three of you left. It was Mando, um, a blacksmith lady. There's a and, uh, delete and, episode where they all went to meet him. Well. They went to his birthday party. Hey. And then he shot at them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, group. Pew, pew, pew. Wow, what? I just, I brought you, I brought you a present. You can oh, so. All right, well, I see that you're in a mood. I'll, I'll be back. So totally I'll tell this was all so unplanned. Like, it's like, oh yeah, remember when the army of bounty hunters fought the army of Mandalorians in season yeah. one? And the, he betrays and... The, the bounty hunters almost specifically because it's like they establish in the universe, like those guys are the bad guys. Mando is making the good good move. Even though he, he welches on the deal, steals the money and the kid, which was always like... That's right. Mm. He, stole the, uh, he stole the best guy. He still benefited from it all. Yeah, he's a piece of shit in that, in that moment. He's like, yeah, fuck the kid. I'll get the stuff. There's like, ah, I guess I'll get the kid too. Using the stuff, because it's so fucking good. Hmm. This has become one of the most unintentionally hilarious shows I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. it's yeah. pretty that funny. For a long time. I suppose it, it, would, really it wouldn't be out like Batwoman, long. but it's... No, they're different. They're different animals. Same oh, yeah. zoo, but different animals. It's because like the budget is higher, I guess, and it takes itself so seriously. Yeah, I think a lot of shows ride by on sheer confidence. But um, yeah, loads of just funny moments at this point that you know when they're making it, they're like, this is cool. And you're like, yeah. I think Mando really needs to ask Grogu, so you actually an infant or just an asshole? Sometimes he does things <laughs> an infant shouldn't be able to do, uh, but other times he has the intelligence of an infant. 
There are a good chance that Grogu's just pretending to be an infant so he can get away with being a complete dick to people. Yes, 100%. I think that's the case. He'll bit. have moments of high intelligence or, or intuitiveness, and then sometimes he'll just be like, I want to fuck you. Eat that baby so I can just, yeah, I'm a baby. Haha, <laughs> Grogu. Oh, <laughs> eat that baby. <laughs> I think we joked about this in earlier seasons. There would be a, that there would be a reveal at the end where Grogu was actually like a villain and he was working yeah. towards some goal using Mando and that he would reveal at the end that he was like, no, 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 I'm totally sentient. I'm here. I'm actually quite powerful with the force. Yes. I can understand everything. I could speak fine. But yeah, th I mean, that would be <laughs> hilarious. A little yeah, revelation the, at the end. Part of the idea could have been that he was testing Mando. Different vision of what Yoda was up to in Empire that when he found him. More than capable of speaking, but was just going to see what Mando would do with him, what Mando's goals were. But obviously we've thrown that out by now. He's a fucking goober baby who just is an idiot, but sometimes isn't. Filthy cheater as well. And they had a duel with the kid, the other found. Oh just boy. like once and Grogu's was like pew 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 I win what if when Grogu jumped up that kid just fucking punched that baby right out of the air just like, he's just like ah and he just punched him you know <laughs> it's like um that, just like one of those instinctive punches when someone jumps out at someone like they pretend to be a bush and then the guy uh, and the guy's like oh shit and he just punches the bush man that's what should have happened they should have punched punch that baby punched that baby oh boy that's a chonky boy <clears throat> Back in the Clone Wars cartoon. Well, you have to read his name. The... Doesn't. It's up to him. Yeah, he does. Heal his choice. You have to read this name. Have a spine, Metal. Decide yourself. Metal, you, you look at that name. You have to say it out loud. Let me look at the name. Okay, that's pretty funny. Tasseled Wobbegong. <laughs> that was a pretty good name. Back in the Clone Wars cartoon, the radical traditionalist Death Watch was led by a man named Prey Vizsla, who almost certainly related to Paz Vizsla from this show. And he allied with and was eventually killed by Maul. This act split Death Watch into two. Maul loyalists who believe he fairly won the right to rule. These Mandos often added horns to their helmets exactly like the armorer here. Oh, okay. And bo group that rejected him because he was an outsider and clearly didn't have Mandalore's best interests in mind. In Disney's canon, Death Watch had another even more radical traditionalist splinter group. The Children of the Watch, who plays a lot of emphasis on foundlings, i.e. outsiders. Bo's openly critical of the COTW, but her rule of Mandalore getting the planet killed pushed her even more extreme, to the point that she's trying to properly earn that magic sword via combat. It's worth mentioning that Maul killed pre Vizsla, I want to say Pras Vizsla every time, with the Darksaber and claimed it as his own, but purely as a symbolic gesture, not because of any si silly rules. Both basically stuck reliving that fateful day, warping her own memory of the event while she's at it. That's a lot of lore that I never mm -hmm. heard of before. Which is to say that Din Djarin, bo Paz Vizsla, and the Amra should have an absolute shitload to say to each other, but I guess the Hecknide? I, I don't even know what that means. Hecknied? Never heard that before. German, yay. You saved my boy, we're friends, is good enough. Guess I'm not too surprised though. Ahsoka meeting Luke should have been a huge moment, but Book of Boba Fett decided to have it happen off screen. Wonderstar was just pissed terrified of character interactions. Bro. That is so much, so many things. That well, sounds yeah, actually wouldn't have known any of this had happened. About. This, all of this may as well not have happened. They don't yeah. treat each other as anyone of interest. None of them care about each other's histories. Which is insane. That's insane. There's <laughs> so much to get. They have all like the you... reason to have all the conflict. And the Clone Wars cartoon uh, is like current canon, right? That's not... I assume so. As far as I know, it's, it's still like a Disney canon, animated yeah. thing, isn't it? So what the so fuck? So surely all the Mandalorian Clone Wars uh, people... So they'd be really upset that none of this is mentioned? Like, if you're super autistic about the whole Mandalore factions Clone Wars show thing, then you must be screeching constantly at why these characters are just not yeah, even, themselves and they're not saying anything Even I'm screeching a little bit. That this is a mention. I don't know anything about like it in real... context, but it's like, come on, yeah. tell me about this. It seems really, really important. Well, it's it's really just also so easy to to characterize fucking characters for once with all I these mean, things. Especially if you've got a bunch of history playing into it. Yeah, and yeah. You have characters who should all have different perspectives on these on these matters. But like, it's as though these are the things that happen, and the characters are involved in them. But any sort of long lasting consequences or repercussions from those events on those characters is like irrelevant. It's just not factored into the writing. It's very strange, and it's like Rags was saying. It's kind of odd that you would like the Clone Wars and watch this and see that none of that uh, history is being integrated here and be happy with it. Hey, at, at some point, you should be him. like, these aren't these characters. They can't be. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You have bizarrely compartmentalized these shows in ways that doesn't make sense. It's like if you had Obi-Wan Kenobi meeting Darth Maul 
in a later like spin-off show and they just never acknowledge their history or anything together like yeah like exactly I, yeah and you have like maybe a moment where fucking Darth Maul had a, a different master or an apprentice that dies in front of Obi-Wan when they're on some mission where they're forced to fight together and nobody mentions anything about like oh yeah I've experienced that thanks to you actually if you remember Phantom Menace movie that happened remember and then they read out the whole like script it's like yeah maybe maybe like remember things and then oh, Duel of the Fates plays yeah it'll make your show easier to be more powerful if you just remember things Oh well. I'd say it's a superpower, but it's just writing. Yeah. Like, it's <laughs> yeah. fucking normal. Because, like, you know, like, a strange example, but it's, like, really annoying that when we first meet older Cassie in Ant-Man, she's like, oh, yeah, I have a suit, and I'm fucking around to the point where the police almost got all the tech, and Hank doesn't care. And it's like, no, Hank should care more than anybody. He should be the one that's like, what the fuck? Why does she have a suit? Correct me if I'm wrong, I need to rewatch the fucking first one. I don't, I don't know when I'll ever do that, though. He only gives the suit to uh, Scott and not his daughter because he says it's too dangerous, right? And he's worried about what happens to people who use the suits because of what happened to Janet. And he's mm. willing to let Scott do it, but he's not willing to let Hope do it, basically. Yeah, because ultimately if Scott was to die... And he's incredibly protective of the tech because that was exactly. the, he left shield because they were messing around with uh, the pin particle and then he swore that nobody would ever get the formula. But in Quantumania, like, he's like a fucking hippie dad who's like, how is it in jail? He <laughs> he. Oh, you having fun with the quantum fleams? Oh, look, we made a little telescope yeah, that like, goes down into the quantum verse. <laughs> he's not that complicated and you forgot. Like, yeah, you just completely was. forgot how he was characterized. And, and now you can't benefit from that. You just have nothing. Yeah. And that's kind of what this show's done with all these characters. Apparently, I haven't yeah. seen this show, or at least the, these episodes. But like, look at all this stuff. Use it. The fact that all of these Mandalorians collectively decided to train outside when they are under frequent attack from El Croco and <laughs> Das Kinder... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Das Kinder Shredder are not even the th most stupid faction in Star Wars is quite the achievement. <laughs> They're still ranking at a decent place for intelligence, so don't worry. Oh my god, it's the, <laughs> the constant... Like, we've been... <laughs> We've been saying this since uh, the first season. If you like the Mandalorians, fucking why? Why? What a bunch of incompetent buffoons. What a bunch of morons. They look cool. silly. They act silly. They have blasters and armor. Whoa. Whenever you, know, you blow someone up, it goes, wee <laughs> wee SCVs from StarCraft II are more cool than the Mandalorians. Jeez. Yep. They're lame. Well, think of the cool factor someone like the Merchant has in Resident Evil 4, even though he's like this scraggly, craggly old dude who's just crawled around the world with his little weapons. It's like, like just loves he's not, guns. He's not like a knight with armor and weaponry and can fly and has a deeper voice and a helmet. And, you know, like something that's basically like in the cool book, you snatched all the fucking defaults. I guess what I'm trying to comment on is like, you can make anything really cool. The writing is always going to be the thing that essentially defines it. Here we are with these guys getting all their cool sapped completely to the point where they're just <sighs> clowns that fly. One of the greatest embodiments of filler I've ever seen. You really begin to see the effects of a no-planned ending of The Mandalorian. Yeah, that's what was said about it, and it's like, mm -hmm. oh, this is what you meant. It just keeps everything going. Everything just keeps I think going. Um, what's become so apparent at this point, especially when it comes to the dynamic of Mando and Baby Yoda, is they gotta find a reason to keep Baby Yoda in there because he's just too good of a merchandising opportunity to, like, ever let leave the show and actually go on a journey, or, like, you you know, age out of being cute and like become more of a character. And so now it's stagnant. Like, where are we going? It needs to persist in this state forever. But the problem is that like, that's not really how storytelling works. Well, remember they even cashed <laughs> um, the payoff way too early of them splitting up in the end of season two. It was like a goodbye. This is it. This is our journey has yeah. come to an end. And people treated it that way. They were like, wow, what an amazing journey it was. And that was like, oh, and they undid um... it in a spin-off <laughs> TV show. It's in so good in show, it. yeah. They undo it, you're like, that's bad enough. Not even in the show. You're like, what? Yeah. Fucking boot up episode one, there he is with, with Baby Yoda. Which some people, they were some people who didn't watch Boba Fett. So they were just like, what? Why? <laughs> and you're like, well, loser, you missed out. And then there are people who are like, after watching Boba Fett and Kenobi and shit, I don't even watch an Andor. And it's like, oh. <laughs> it's not even slightly fair. It's like they've made all the worst decisions with the resources they have. Uh, they had, including good, like, like preset good TV show 
they made the worst possible decision with that one. It was the it was going to be the least watched by putting it with Andor. It's like people don't even know who that is. Which I mean, yeah, that that pushes us to the good old episodes. Was everyone ready? I, yeah. Oh, I'm ready. Oh look, it's Mandalore. They're on Mandalore. I guess we're going back to Mandalore. We are going back to Mandalore, yeah. Okatan Kreez is going off to bring other Mandalorians in exile to Okatan Kreez to Mandalore. It is time to retake Mandalore. Retake it from who? From the Yetis who live underground. It's kind of funny that they got given a plot of land permanently on Navarro and they're just immediately going to leave and go back to Mandalore. They've also got the deal on this planet. What was this called? They do. Paluthan 2 or something. While exploring Mandalore, I was captured. I mean, I kind of got beat by the General Grievous guy and she killed him, so... <laughs> I don't know. I just can't, can't yeah. believe this is a thing. We memed about this when yeah, it happened, but and now they do it. It's the stupid rule. <laughs> oh, that looks it, bad. It's, if I were the Mandalorian lads there, I'd be like, you made that up. You just made that yeah. up, didn't you? I found a derelict New Republic shuttle. Flight times match the ship transporting Moff Gideon. Moff Gideon? The, the Moff Gideon didn't show up to trial, and it's like, oh, he never made it. Like, <laughs> Oh, yeah. well, he didn't make it. Uh, Fuck I off. think that would be in the news. Like, do we have a search warrant for Bugle. him or something? That seems pretty big. Oh. Pershing? Oh. oh, Pershing! Oh, wow, yes. he's here. No, I'm super happy now! Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I, I think that's gonna happen. Something? Nope. It's like we said now. in like every third episode. It's like, oh, I remember when that was cool, when we saw that. <laughs> Blacksmith lady in there. In the armor. Armor. <laughs> she doesn't even need a name, just armor is good enough. Yeah. That's how good of a character she is. Coruscant! Yay! And look, it's like the 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 little sleazy part of Coruscant. Darker and wetter. And more neon. Looks neat. Looks like a cyber. I, I love I love the yeah. aesthetic of like the man, Star Wars 1313. You could have been so cool. Yeah, I was just say Star East Wars. No. You could have been so cool. It's Star Wars in general. Oh well. Because you already know. You already know. Like Whatever this. this is, it's in favor of a shitty script. Probably. Yeah, I, it's shame. I, yeah, I love this, this space is, punk this kind of. This is so uh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so this is Officer Lady. She's uh. Well, yeah. Uh, last we saw her, shenanigan. she was almost trying to sabotage Navarro getting assistance. <gasps> oh no, it's evil a droid! Spy, it's a spy robot. Where the it's fuck were these guys would, for the bad Why would you use this? Why would you use Probe one of these? Droid, lads. Everyone knows that these are evil-looking ones. Droids. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't you? trust these. They're black and red. This these is evil. ones are evil. <laughs> Code TK2755. You have a face, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Gideon's back, everyone's favorite. Sir, I'm afraid the pirates have run into trouble on Navarro. Oh, those events were connected. Wait, the pirates work for the Empire? Remember, that was what the pilot guy was saying, was the events are connected, and he was right. What was the connection, though? How did they figure that out? The it was written so planet. in the script. It happened on the same planet, which means they're connected. Okay. Bo-Katan Kreez led a squadron of Mandalorians alongside Din Djarin and his covert. But to be fair, though, they only really needed Bo-Katan and Mando. Mandalorians are teaming back up, sir. You could move further into the alley. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I shall deal with our Mandalorian friends. Oh no! Big war. See, there you go. We've already got a big war set up. Mandos versus New Empire. Wait, Yay. was his hologram not. Ha did it. This hologram not have the thing lifted? Why? His hand lifted? Why? Look at these. Are they They're just like standing like around? But yeah. why are, are they. Why are these. Why? Are there people in there? Are they people or are they robots? But look at them, they've got like- The Mando Stormtroopers, there you go! Mando Stormtroopers is the new thing. Oh, and clones. Oh They're god, this is gonna be great for the theory crafters, eh? There's a fortune to be had, plundering the hyperspace lane. Oh, he's Mando evil, you can tell by his face. There are citizens loyal to the Empire. They're already getting sick of this new Republic. It's been 17 minutes, though. Oh, Would've been nice to have implied that anything like the- oh, Grand Admiral oh. Thrawn. Great. Yep. Ron. Uh, right in time after the announcement. Yeah. <laughs> That's also fucking Murchy. Thrawn's return will provide Commandant Hux enough time to deliver on Project Necromancer. Oh, did they say Hux? You always... Yeah. yeah. That was probably Commandant his dad Hux. then, is it? Yeah. Grand Admiral Thrawn is missing from your delegation. Don't worry, he'll be in Ahsoka. Our one hope for success relies upon the secrecy of his return. Secrecy. Secret. I'm confused. Like, Thrawn alone is just what they need to win. This feels like the meta really seeping in, right? Yeah. Because he's really popular, so, like, his position is inflated to a greater degree than it was originally. Well, it sucks, yeah. but it was always the next step. They've squandered everything else. It's like, what else is left? It's like the popular shit oh, okay. from the EU now. That's what Project that's Necromancer. Yeah. Project <laughs> Necromancer. Necro. It's gonna be Snoke and Palpatine. What has become of Dr. Pershing? Dr. Pershing? 
was captured by the New Republic. Right. So were you, by the way, for a short amount of time. So Gideon's sabotaging that aspect of the Empire then, because that was his operation. You held right? Pershing, and were attempting your own experiments. I account for what goes on in my sector. No more. No less. Well, that's not true because you about the thing you said about whispers across the galaxy that you know about. I hear whispers from one end of the galaxy to another. And, yeah. yeah, they're right, aren't they? The, his operation on Navarro was yeah. all colony stuff. We scrape and claw resources, awaiting the grand plan to take shape. What is the plan? Don't you have like meetings where you exchange resources. notes and information? You just said they're amassing mind. countless resources. How? How? Yeah, yeah like what how do you actually like it requires factories and planets and, and secretly? Like, Organizations. Oh, look, Praetoria Guards, yeah! And reinforcements for your TIE Interceptor Squadron. Yeah, they're useless, and though. They are pretty useless. And what is your security concern? Mandalorians. By Mandalor Ugh, yeah. Mandalorians. What? Not them, they're amazing and so Did cool. Did you know they have armor that protects them from everything? We should Did probably you know invest in that. <laughs> A certain Mandalore would hamper our efforts. Why? Just pay them to work for you. Yeah, people. most of them are mercenaries yeah. at this point. Yeah, just pay them. Just bomb they them been... from orbit once they settle down. Yeah, yeah they There's don't not, even have ships. Not many of them. There's not many of You'll them have at all. your reinforcements and your guard. Wow, that was enough to convince them, I guess. They really want to take out the Mandalorians. When did this happen that Mandalorians were the one thing that would stop the Empire? Like, uh, just now. It, it now. might. <laughs> well, it may have been like when Mandalore was actually a fucking functional planet, but right now there's what? Any of them? Fifty? I know. Most. No fewer of them. Like maybe oh, fifty yeah. when the empire is like. Them. Remember those little death robots in season two? They could have annihilated loads of Mandalorians. Mando just got yeah. super lucky with them. So yeah, just fucking pay them. All right. Make more what of them. You? Those kill robots were great. Pick oh look, they're rocks, rebuilding. Uh, I'll get the barrel. Don't worry, guys. I got oh, the. That's, that's a funny looking alien. Oh look, C-3PO, but not. He one. always has to come in to tell him yeah. about. Yeah, thanks a lot. He's so for letting me know. With the Empire here? Oh, no, that's a Mandal lot. These are the Mandalorians, that's right? That's a light cruiser in second. It's not Imperial. Is it not? Yeah, yeah wow, why did the droids say Imperial then? It looked, well, I guess, according to his imperial, it was, yeah, but the markings. Look at the markings. Markings are. Yeah, why? Wrong. How could it scan them without <laughs> seeing the marking? What the fuck? Hang on. To the point, that's not even, is that even a good idea? Like, that loses their stealth aspect. Well, are you well, telling me this ship is from full orbit, of Mandalorians? Right? All of them. There'd be no stealth aspect, right? Because the Empire is, they're not, this is the New Republic now. This Why is the army that bo collected, apparently. She stole yeah. all of this from the Empire. Well, okay. Why wouldn't they message ahead and let him know that he's that they're coming? That's another so thing that should have happened. Out. Yeah, because that's the reason I thought they were imperial. Why would the droid have made that mistake? It's like, well, because... my data's out of. Uh... <laughs> so how many Mandos are in there then? Must be a Maybe lot. Like... That's a big. That's so that's so fucking yeah. funny, dude. They didn't call ahead. It's like, by the way, we're about to land a whole fleet yeah. above your city. Don't worry, it's a ma it's got massive fuck off cannons and everything on it. But we painted we do a skull look evil, on the bottom, so they'll know. But we're we not. Are. Don't worry about it. That must have taken them ages to paint that skull on the bottom. Oh yeah. Yeah. They must have. Like, how many gallons of paint do you yeah. think that took? <laughs> this will be so interesting to see the two clans meet, finally. These seem like very <laughs> silly spaceships that have to do this when they take off and land. They're cool, Rags. Look at them. Oh, okay. They're just as cool the as the Mandalorians. Oh, All their mix and matching colors. Oh, look at that guy on the far right. Yeah, he doesn't like, look happy about his suit colors. Seriously, can we tell apart from like? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who's who. I guess they're bluish. Kind of yeah, they're the blue guys. Yeah, this is better. Some of those the guys look bluish though. That, is this meant to mean anything? This meeting, really? No. Uh, I guess. Well, the, they're they're not, they need to tell us, for the sake of the stuff. fucking conflict, why these guys meeting means anything. They haven't done that yet. Like we have different creeds. Okay. Are they just gonna sh shake hands? Or It'd be something? so funny if they all just opened fire. <laughs> oh fuck off! Oh, fuck off! Oh no! Not you. I have Welcome, hit the hammer of friends. justice. We invite you to make camp. Ugh. Let us prepare a feast for our guests. From what? We will Stones? join your feast. <laughs> yeah. What is, I just like the idea. Here? They just oh, look so over at uh, they look over at uh, Grief Kaga like, come on, make a feast. He's like, what? Do the Mandos have enough food to feed like <laughs> twice? There's a fucking me? army oh, of you no. guys. Oh, there he is. He's just here now. He just walked here, I guess. He walked here. He flew here. Welcome gift. To celebrate our new oh, neighbors. Romulan what is ale. This? this is not blue. I don't know. Romulan ale, ale is blue. Yeah, but it's the glass that colored it that way. It's blue in there. That's not the only gift I have for you. I have another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, uh, IG-11. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, there he is. Come on. Oh, okay. Look, he's fine now. Oh, he's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> so first question is he trying to kill me? Oh, like, oh he's being oh. piloted. Oh, yeah, he has like, a little guy first, in there. First, first. Oh, that's kind of fun. That's IG-12 now. Do you like him? Do I like him? Well, I mean, that's what this is all about, Mando. It's just satisfying your weird addiction to this robot. They removed his memory circuit. Oh, so he's not No, he just can't remember why he kills. The pilot provides cognition, so the robot doesn't work on its own. So you just have this incredibly vulnerable midget inside of it? Yeah, it's not even so, fully armored up. So Grogu is going to control like it? Is that what we're doing? But yep. for Grogu is a baby. That is yeah, at but... least an adult creature of its kind. He's too little to operate this. No, it's no. not about him. He's literally a baby. What's it's the meant actual to be, fuck? What? I designed the IG unit to be the baby Yoda can pilot him. But it's but it's what? a baby. Do you think that this is even remotely... Get in the robot, Shinji. But, but it's a baby. It's Piloting. an actual infant. I don't even know if it knows what words are. Grogu is too young to operate heavy machinery. Oh, thank God. Thank He's God. Older. No. What do you mean, no? No. Is this going to be how Yoda can talk now, He's baby Yoda? So it has a button that says no. I don't even know, that know that's how it works. No. Get him out of there. No. No, at least let him try it out in my office. Yes. Oh, wait, so the so Grogu can understand the words people are saying. Isn't this, like, revolutionary for their relationship? He can actually speak to Grogu yeah. directly now. Maybe you should start with, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes or no? Exactly. And it says yes. And you're like, wow, this whole time you fully understand what I say. And you clearly it, did not act like it. Why is this what they're doing? I don't know. Why do you even need the, the head so, anymore, then? The whole reason... You that Baby Yoda does not need an IG-11 unit to fucking walk around is because he shouldn't be going on these crazy adventures anyway. Uh, oh, I guess we we're just doing, doing this now. Okay. Do it? It's not even armored up. You, you know why they didn't armor it up pressing... fully, right? It's because we Rogue need to see even... his cute face. Rogue wasn't even pressing any yes. buttons when, when yes. the yes happened. Yes. And also, Mando just doesn't care that IG-11, the IG-11 he knows who saved him, who he specifically wanted to revive, is, like, still dead. Give yeah. some of that space squash, bitch. Oh, he's just stealing food. But it's oh, not... Is it a baby or not? Does he understand how things work or not? That's right, give me like, money. Hey, this you can't steal coin. shit. Oh, there you go again. No. Yes. Hey, Google, no. Oh, it's meant to be this funny. This is such a great idea, see? Uh, oh. Why are that fruit? you being a prick? Why isn't it also shielded? It should have a cover that comes down. Yeah. yeah. That's just, like, the... It's so I can't dumb. This, like, happened. this is the dumb. What is that, is that big? It's here? The fuck are they cooking? I, I, it's a it's I a flare. So do we just sit around being boring assholes? Dude, how much time do we yeah. just waste on that insane development? Well, let's just carry on. It is time to retake our home world. Even though the planet is not cursed, there are still dangers. Yeah, what? it's like cave people. There's some, yeah. there's some <laughs> yetis there in caves before. that you'll slaughter with your weapons. Dormant species have been awakened from the bombings. What do you mean dormant species have been awakened? Is she talking about the creepy robot the man? Mythosaur? Well, but the mythosaur is not going to bother them. Which is why I'm proposing that we leave Navarro and move the fleet into orbit above Mandalore. Yes. Let's do that. I mean, yeah. Everyone I mean, should be like, "Fuck yeah, we can go back to our home planet." That's that, amazing. That should have happened in episode we'll three, but you know, better late than never. What remains of the Great Forge and establish a safe perimeter. Only then will we bring down the others. The others? Bring down the others? What? Is she talking about the fucking the cave people? Seriously? Oh, bring down the uh, Mandalorians onto the no, planet? Oh. oh. We need volunteers from, the from both tribes. Well, you may as well take all them all. Volunteer. Yeah, you might as well take what else are you today? doing? Just go. Yeah, like why wait yeah. at the top when you could need them to help you? Why are they so hesitant? Yeah, he just he just told you that your home planet you is to go good to go. None of them care, Mel. It doesn't matter. Go. Why aren't they going? Except, going? except aren't Mando, of course. Mando cares. Shouldn't you be chomping at the bit? Grogu. Grogu well. Why Grogu? Why? Why? Why would you leave him here? So leave him with far, Grief right? Kaga. He's super chill. Yeah. I will go. Oh, listen, the music's getting more I'm triumphant. I'm an ex-hairdresser. All right, Paz, Vizsla, whatever, he's got to say yes, right? Oh, that guy, too. This guy. Sure. All the important yeah, people. There he, there he is. There he is. Never just regular Mandos. All right, now it's regular. Well, no, now, so now it will be. Yeah. Here come the red shirts. These all get killed. Here come the red shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am character. <laughs> I will come with you. I will go. It's boring as fuck around here. I mean, all of them should go. I will go as well. Man, oh, I, good uh, God. The armor uh, is coming. Uh, maybe maybe the armor right. will finally people. die. <laughs> Remember when we thought this was going to be a space bounty hunter show? Yeah. It's, what even? How it's do you describe cool. what is happening? It's, We're having the Empire versus Mandalore. Ship. That's what this is. Wait, what yeah. are the other ships going for? Just take the big ship, right? I'm guessing uh, everybody's going. Well, they get, oh, everybody's well, it's, going. Yeah, so it's, it's like, was it Rags you said earlier, or Free, that like they've got their space on Navarro, and now they're just gone? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, now they're leaving. Two oh, well. episodes later. Did it tell? 
the mayor. Like, we're going, by the way. Well, is he with them? Justin, I could, I could honestly see like, them bringing him with them for no reason at all. Having the mandos there are super useful to him, considering he has no standing military. What do you... Yep. We'll lose Khan shortly. Why are they bringing Grogu? What the fuck? No. So fucking irresponsible. He's the worst dad. Why are we it's showing? We know it's safe to go in bad. there. It's fine. Oh, this yellow light. It's solid. So their goal is that to means land. It's gonna be a red light soon. And then find the Great Forge. Is that what they said? Out some area to make sure it's safe. Set up a perimeter or something. But yeah. we're not gonna have everyone land. All of our firepower. Why don't you bring all the fighters down? Why not just land together like normal people? Why are they doing the, the dropship thing? Just I yeah, just let just go land and then everyone can walk around. It's worse than I thought. Yeah, because you never How? checked. How is it worse? It was then absolutely uninhabitable. <laughs> yeah, it was purged, it was annihilated, and it somehow looks it's... worse than that. You said it was cursed! <laughs> what hey, are you doing? What are some, we doing? Some stuff looks okay when it's cursed. Okay, I, th I thought he was going to say yeah. something, but all right. Yeah, are we just yeah, going to uh, wait here? Are the, wait, are these uh, dropships specifically doing? designed for Mandalorians to, like, fall out of? Well, dropships have jetpacks, right? They fly now. Normally, you deploy, like, people. Okay, wh is what's it happening or what? Go there what? we go. Just go. Dude, Why? what's, what's with the amount of fucking right? padding? Jeez. Why? I don't know. Why not okay. just land the ship? Yeah, just land the ship and everyone oh, you so cool. not that close to the ground. You were not that close to the ground. I wonder how many of them have rifles. Like, one in... Like, Pistols are cooler, Rex. Or? Pistol cooler. Yeah, well... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like there's not nothing true. here. You can land yeah. now. You look so more like a cowboy. Or or you know, going to come out of the ground, so it's... You don't see that many cowboys in movies with rifles. Yeah, you get it every once in a while, but to have the cowboy aesthetic, you have to have pistols. You have to have inferior weaponry. And also, Landing. light machine guns. <laughs> yeah, just, you know. Landing zone secure. Landing zone secure, that's it. Landing we zone secure. It, because we couldn't have just looked down and seen that it was secure. By the way, we have to have a bad ending, because it's not the last episode. Yeah, this is the, this is the penultimate yeah, episode. I guess so, Moff, Moff Gideon. Yeah, I'm putting money on either the armorer or Chungo dying. Uh, it's going to be the second in command. It's going to be the chick from, uh, or the dude uh, that she fought last oh, episode. Oh, one of those two. Yeah, I'd say those are the four yeah, he's gonna die. that are very light. Because it won't be Bo, obviously. She's immune. And oh, man, Mando's right. also immune. But I feel like the armorer is immune too. I can see that, I, but I can also see them killing her as like a spiritual, mystical thing, like being like, with her <laughs> passing, we must unite. She was, she was so good. <laughs> she was just so yeah, good. Maybe. Then again, like she's the only way they get fucking new armors. So what their logic was when riding it, it's like it's not really like. It's just like <laughs> Doesn't resemble our Earth like, logic. It's something them. else. They... We'll survey the surface until we find the forge and create a safety zone. Only then will we begin to bring down the settlers. I'm so excited. Only, only if it's. Cure, we gonna bring down the settlers. Who are the settlers? Are those Mandos too? There's yeah, all those no. cave people. They're just gonna fucking mow them down. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been walking? Just like, why did you land the closer cave. to your destination? To Where you are they going? Are they just wandering? They're just what are, looking what? for an entrance, I guess. Really? Why didn't they was. go? Why didn't they use the one the Mando and Bo-Katan know? Because they're did retarded. You bring water? That's why. Oh, we yeah, just yeah, we Mando. legit are just wandering. Look how far away the fucking ship is now. It's not even you can't even see it. Oh, more empty, barren. Oh, oh but there's yeah, something. We, go back we to found the ship something. Because it's yeah, really far away. What is he seeing? What's that? Night elves. Flanking left. Flanking left. They moved two meters left. <laughs> <laughs> it's hardly flanking, but all right. Oh yeah, maybe you shouldn't have brought him here. Damn Since... it, the baby is now in. Tr wow, this is—is is this the cave <clears throat> people's oh, there's ship? Oh, Mandalorians on there. They got oh. the helmets. Look at them. The car. Wee. Do you have food? <laughs> do you guys know where the Tesco is? We do. You wear the crest of the night owl. I cannot hear you, man. <laughs> what? You've got to come closer. They're Mandalorians. Yeah, fair. no shit. I'm just baffled there was actually people living here. Mando Mandalorians. What is happening? I wonder if these guys what? hate. It would be nice Maybe if they, they hate. That'd be cute. That'd be really interesting. You are the lady Sorry. responsible for the purge of this planet. Where do you get your uh, fuel from? Yes. Oh. We're the realest Mandalorians. Oh, they worship her. Okay. Yeah. okay. Like, why didn't you come last week? No, seriously, give me one reason Ooh. why you didn't come last week. Is that Skinny Pete? It might be. He's really skinny because he doesn't have a lot of food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's going to be a huge action set piece then. Are they uh, Empire affiliated, maybe? They punished us because we refused to surrender. I did surrender. 
I don't know if this is stuff we should already know. Should we know this? Should all the other Mandalorians know this? Well, hey, it's about time. Give us some information. After our forces were annihilated in the Night of a Thousand Tears. <laughs> Night, of a thousand. Night of a Thousand Tears. Like a 12-year-old write this? I think they were oh, influenced by certain other events of history, but they didn't name it very well. I met with Moff Gideon. Wait, that didn't happen in Clone Wars, did it? I thought Moff Gideon was new. In exchange for submitting to the Empire, all remaining cities and Mandalorian lives were to be spared. Okay. That is how Moff Gideon came to possess the Darksaber. This must be stuff that happened between the shows, right? I did, I yeah. I guess? Mm -hmm. I didn't trust him, but it was the only chance I had to save our people. But you didn't okay. trust him. So you did trust him a little bit. And then he betrayed me, and... We were helpless to resist the purge of Mandalore. Man, like, that should be really consequential and meaningful to, like, every I character in different sure. ways. We were hidden on the moon of Concordia. Were you Death Watch? No. Who it names ourselves that? <laughs> Our people have suffered time and again from division and squabbling factions. See, she's talking about Mandalore it so broadly that we don't get to know anything about it. Always been too powerful yeah, for and how much of this should rest on her specifically? Like, you were a big player in that, right? Mandalore's always been too powerful to defeat. Say hello to my Death Star. Yeah. Or just some random stormtroopers in, uh, that we sent to Navarro. That cleans you up. Yep, and it is kind of funny to be Thanks, like, Tyka. you know, only, we could only be destroyed from within. Also, it's like, no, the Empire destroyed you. I had no idea. We were taught that everyone but us had forsaken the way. That's stupid. That you were selfish and uncaring. God, they just believe anything they're told, don't they? Yeah. I was selfish, and this is what it wrought. I don't get it. How is she selfish for trying to save everybody? Maybe she is actually talking about the crazy mole stuff. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. For thousands of years, we have been on the verge of extinction. Wait, Why? so Mandalore's been undefeatable, but also you've been on the verge, verge of extinction? Of extinction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Y'all suck. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are very confusing. You're like someone who it's always all keeps unified. almost losing, like RimWorld. That felt... Where the colony gets demolished, but you, you survive. <laughs> I, that felt like an insert shot. I think that Blade's gonna play a role in this episode. What means more to me is honor and character. These are the reasons I serve you, Lady Kreese. I serve oh. you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mando. Your song is not yet written. I will serve you. Until it is. Why she Why? sucks? No, so it's official because he has no goals. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, now which I guess it's just there you go. Mando. He's her. I guess we're doing Mando stuff. He's I her guess. soldier this now. Fun. That's his job. Yeah, so this is the season of pivoting the Mandalorian yeah. away. From we're, Mando. we're moving Mando out. He's. Uh, I wouldn't be the surprised if he fucking dies to save her in the next season or something. Because Pedro Pascal would rather be doing shows where he can play a character. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> most people yeah. would. We'll rest tonight and continue at first light. These here are too weak to continue. What, wait, wrong? so they just bumped into a bunch of people that were near death? I guess so. They, so you don't need to return. You can tell the others they, to come here. Is it well, it's a microcosm for it's a microcosm for Those the Mandalorians. They're well almost near death, <laughs> always. So no, right, they're undefeatably near death. Those of you who are well enough can join us in the search for the Great Forge. We can bring you there. There you go. Oh. That's cool. Oh, good thing you bumped into him. I was about to say, it, it's a. They showed, like, them looking for a while, but this is still a planet. Yeah. Planet. <laughs> so we're going to tell you the others, scrape like. together hey. something nice from the remnants of a whole planet civilization? Is the idea, though, that, like, half of them were starving to death and that now they're going to go get saved? So they're taking them back up. Why didn't you all fucking land? Yeah, okay, calm down. Soundtrack. Nothing interesting is happening. Stop showing me that IG unit. I'm Man, so probably mad. send Baby Yoda up with that ship. It's fine. Oh, do you think once they leave the clouds, they'll be like Moff Gideon's? Yeah, I was about to say the same. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that'll mm. be. Yeah. That's, Armor. That's so surprising. It's Armor could die. They could kill her. Yeah, she oh, could actually. Oh, please. She's boring. She's, she's boring. Please, asshole. she's boring. <laughs> Kill her, she's boring. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's still time. This is possible. Yeah, because they haven't no, done the betrayal yet. I think I think we're getting there. How do you power? Oh, we're these doing things. this now. What do we eat? Look, space yeah, chest. Space chest. You can't move an enforcer like that. It's a flank jump. And you're about to submit. No, I What's just told you you're jump? not playing in the rules. Oh, I guess so. we're using oh, different rules. That makes it awkward to play the game. These primitives make up their own rules for everything. Wow. <laughs> Oh, hey, calm down. It's just a game. With it's a you. fucking board game, you goblin. Game. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> are you a child? Are you an actual? Child? I win. Admit it. Wait, submit I have to submit fight. in the game or fight you with a silly. Okay, knife? now I don't know if I want the armor or him to die more. Oh, we're really? doing this. Well, yeah, why not? We, we got we got time to waste, scene. I guess. Oh, we did an action scene, yeah. You know, if the if the Empire didn't show up, the Mandalorians would have just killed themselves with board yeah. games. Well, Already. remember, this is what this is what she was talking about, he, bo -Katan. He just punched him in his Neither helmet, by the way. Like, and it's fine. Remember they did that shit in the other 
season. Should I step in? Neither side can step in. It was bound to happen sooner or later. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Fucking show some leadership and stop them, yeah. bitch. Yeah, you fucking morons. I'm actually okay with you having a fight over something that matters. This what? is a fucking yeah. chess game. What was that? It's like a board game, dude. <laughs> We gotta get his ass kicked again. Is his job just to get beaten in fights? <laughs> I <was> yeah. Like... <laughs> oh, the baby stopped them. I can't believe the baby is showing more maturity than all yeah. of these. And I like how Mando let that happen. He's like, yeah, my baby can stop you guys from fighting. You taught your apprentice well. They. And why didn't you do it? Yeah, you just said nobody's allowed to step in. You didn't learn that from me. Wait, wait, wait. He did learn that from him. Season one, where. Will and Bo, not Bo, fucking, what's her name? But the lady got kicked out of the show. They have, remember, uh, Baby Yoda straggles her, and then he's like, hey, he's don't straggle up. her. That's mean. He did actually teach him that. Prepare to receive rescued survivors. Copy gauntlet. It's gonna get blowed up. Yeah, something's gonna. Oh, something's gonna he happen. looked a bit. He looked a bit nervous. That guy, didn't he? He was nervous because he has nice looking armor, and he is getting self conscious because everyone else's looks like shit. There! On the starboard bow! Oh, uh, what is that big monster? Stone golem. What giant monster is there now? It's a thunder battle! Oh, it is a giant monster, wow. It's Godzilla. Okay, move away. Yeah. Move away, lads. Maybe... Yeah, just move somewhere else. At least pump the brakes. No, turn around. Don't don't head back. toward Godzilla. That's no, no, a bad turn idea. Turn around, turn around. About face. Guys. Hard to... Hard yeah, to why are you... Hard to start. How, why are you... <laughs> it's you the tank <laughs> nice. Okay. Godzilla's oh gonna kill God. you. What are you... Oh, yeah. Oh, now he's late. turning. There you go. Why are you turning towards it? What? You what turn are you, towards what are you, it. Oh, oh, Mandalorians God. are too oh. stupid to live. They're too, too stu stupid Oh, to live. they're fucked. They're absolutely fucked. Oh, look. My baby is now in trouble. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys suck. Oh, wow. Also, guarantee yeah, you that killed at least like five of them. Yeah. yeah. No way they all made yeah. it out. Well done, yeah, lads. Absolutely well done. I've never done. seen a faction so devastated by local wildlife since yeah. the <laughs> wonder how they deal with like, you know, a fox. Like roaches? <laughs> like, you roaches. I like how not any of them actually go out to check if there were survivors. Nah, no. we're done with that. Next scene. You good? You good, baby? You good. Why is the baby here again? <laughs> Just let me know. Uh, what why, about survivors? Why? What about people who lived? No, no, they're done for. They're sacrificed. Okay, Remember. No one goes off trail. This is the way. <laughs> no one gets left behind. No one gets left Unless you sprain your Fucking ankle, then you're busted. The Mandalorians, if you, they're like the hardfoots of space. <laughs> oh, look at them. Little disgusting creatures dying to wildlife. <laughs> Oh my god, it's actually a close It's very close. And like remember, that. they're hungry, right? So they might start Ooh, eating yeah, each other. yeah, yeah. Oh, do it. So is this the forge? Yeah. Shouldn't take that off, mate. No, keep Not it right on. Now. Yeah, why would you take it off? You might get attacked. Why do they always hot? all oh, take you know, it off? You're, they're just doing it to be a dick to the ones who can't take their helmets off. They're like, ooh, look what we can do. This is what's left of the Great Forge. This is what's the heart of our civilization. At least he's having a reaction to it. You lived here? Well, not yeah, here, back. here. This is the fort. We, we had an apartment about six blocks It was real nice. Way. It was bad. Yeah, it was actually kind of nice. You, you'd think that we would, you know, but that was, that was kind of nice. Jetpacks. Oh, it's oh, Empire. There they are. There they oh, are. The, they're, 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 they're Mando Empire troopers. Man, <laughs> man troopers. You can fly too, guys. Dude, that what, what an just... awful assault. It's not even a that good ambush. Like you just float in front of them. They're the ones that have cover. Look, they all have the cover. They're wearing vests? Oh, the imagine wearing armor. God really Wait, so this forbid. fight's just gonna go on forever then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody can lose. The slow blade penetrates the Beskar. I guess they have no communication because the weird atmosphere makes it so they can't. The they, can't yeah. hit, they can't hurt each other. What's the tension? Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. He, oh. That, he's. But he has armor. They have Beskar. It looked like it sparked his armor and he's down. How does that work? I assume he just fell down. Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> no, no, look, no what's going on? Right Their armor doesn't work. Maybe it's just the force. Are they? Oh, wow. He's actually oh, see, they're not like something. dying. They're just like having. Yeah, she's yeah. fine. God, oh, this is. sucks. This is Do so any of you have explosives? Explosives? Oh, they what, fell off. The you losers. That's like the only way you could die. What's that line from Pirates oh. of the Caribbean? Are we supposed to be fighting until Judgment Day? Yeah. Something like that. 
to the trumpet sound. Oh my god, it's John Wick! No! Oh, no. no. Oh! Yeah. oh, that'll do it, I He's guess. He's like a knife, here. Yeah. Well, I mean, okay. just go between the slits and the armor, innit? That's how you do it. Oh, did she actually shoot him between, like, in the neck? I don't okay. even know. Okay. It's hitting their armor, he can't do shit. This is God, so retarded. This <laughs> is super it's retarded. So you know what's funny, by the way? Anyone that dies, they're sitting on, like, countless okay, credits, like, just up. lying yeah, there. You've the gold mine. <laughs> Why did you bring him? <laughs> Man, you this baby is up. kind of a liability and also in danger. Ooh, generic hallway. Oh, so, so this is like an empire base, then. Is oh, it? I guess that Looks has like been it, yeah. established. How, how did they not know about any of this? Oh my god, this is so retarded. Maybe it's uh, hard, but it looks kind of like it's... Like it's got running electricity. Look yeah. at the light. If you wanted yeah, to yeah. specifically have uh, them look, fight... What is happening? Oh my god, he's taking all the shots with his best But they keep shot. shooting them in the armor, and it's like, that yeah. doesn't kill them. Yeah, only like 60% of yeah, Mando is covered yeah, by Yeah, there's armor. an empire base here. Like the rest of them isn't. Okay. See, we did the thing. We've fully restocked Gideon and his army. Gideon's gonna show up any second now. He'll Where's be like, the, like what you don't realize is that this was all my plan. What is this place? Oh, is Why it actually all his plan? The secret base. Lol. Oh, and they oh, locked out Mad Doe. Dark Saber. Dark Saber can cut through that. Lightsabers can cut through blast doors. Dark Saber, go. Yeah. Oh, what you doing, buddy? Dark Saber, Mando. you set it up earlier. You mentioned it. Dark Saber, you need to. Uh, Mando's actually being defeated. You need to get oh, the Dark wow. Saber. <laughs> like, yeah. Wow. Dark but, Saber, what are you doing? God, they've actually defeated Mando. But she has the Dark Saber right there. Yeah. Oh, oh that look at him. Oh, look, he's got the horns. <laughs> he's got the yes. horns. I am oh, Darth Mandalorian. So edgy. <laughs> he's got me rockets am, too. My name is oh, Darth oh, Empire. Oh, Darth oh, Empire. Oh. Why isn't she cutting through with a Dark Saber? This is stupid. Hello. Kind of destroys all the tension, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know it was you. I don't Remember know you me? I'm from that one TV show you really like, where I was the bad guy. <laughs> you were a talented people, but your time has passed. Mandalore will live on in me. Yeah, you'll be defeated next episode, man. Thanks to your planet's rich resources, I have created the next generation dark... Yeah, we don't see these in the sequel trilogy, though. They're what happened to them? Yeah. That's why we have them white. But we still call them dark troopers. Trust us. It's <laughs> the most impressive improvement. And we, we copied you guys. We didn't have a full armor suit. We left loads of gaps. Oh, they're all clones of him, are they? Him. Okay. Take off your helmets. Do it, you cowards. I want to see all of, I want to see all these Espositos out there. Where the fuck is the dark saber? I'm losing it here. I will create an army. That will bring order. No, you won't. We know that you won't. You're gonna get defeated yeah, next it's episode. So funny how they have to pretend the sequels don't exist, kind of. To like, yeah. Try. Why don't we take your fleet off the board? Activate the interceptors and bombers. Oh no, the fleet! No. no, even though your fleet was pretty damn, their fleet's larger than a handful oh, they of bombers. Ready? Well, they're they're also, ready, they're ready, also right? send one of the Mandos up there. So and maybe are these may be best guard too. <laughs> best guard fighters, <laughs> do it. Now that would Dark be. Fighters. Yeah. Dark fight. <laughs> In but a few moments, the purge of Mandalore will be complete. Shut up. Thank Next you. episode, you're all gonna get killed. Also, I'm kill Mando. Take his helmet. Take, take his helmet. Take his helmet. Take his helmet. Take his helmet. Stab him in the neck. No! Kill him right now, you fool! I just realized, by the way, Mando could have used his whistling birds before he got captured too, but he didn't. I should have killed you when I had the chance. You can still what? kill him. You have the dark you saber. Bo Katan. We have to stop meeting like this. If you were so. Eager to perch them. Why did you let those fuckers well, on the planet lift this whole time? You've been here so long. Turn on the lava vents. I was gonna say, just fill the room with gas now. This is a preemptive yeah, trap. They had this yeah. prepared, so fill it with gas. Or just just wait until they die of thirst. That too. Now, surrender the dark saber. Is she gonna actually cut through the door? It's gonna be so now? fucking funny if she cuts through. She's gonna go to the other side and cut it right. But uh, you, you could have cut either side. Why? Why didn't you do that earlier? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Open the blast door. Kill them. Now you're opening the- that just- that just levels the playing oh, field the if you open the blast the door. Is sharp? Okay. Man, if only you had I, grenades, I, you could kill them all right now. How fucking dumb. I can't believe this shit. I love how the- the ambush was we lock you in a room and then unlock the room. Fall back! I'll cover the rear! Earth changes nothing. gonna die here. Oh, he's no, gonna, is he going to do the... You're covered in best card. just leave. No, he's going to say, all of you have to go. Yeah, I got to stay I mean, for no reason at all. I got to stay. He just needs to back up. Yeah, all he's going to do... Just leave. Just, just go out the door. Nah, he's staying. Yep, it's over. It's yeah, over he's for Panzo. Wow, does that gun not overheat ever? Jeez. We're clear. Fall back. Nah, I got to stay because the script said so. <laughs> Come on. We're not leaving you 
How come they're dying from his shots? They're wearing best This is the way? Just say just it. Why? This is the way? Yeah. No, why? Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> he just, oh, didn't say I just it. closed it on the other side. No! This is the way. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> you know, wow. Bo, you can still cut through the well, door and save him, but it's you fine. You have a son, remember? Don't yeah. you want to go, like, yeah. nah, it's fine. or something? Nah, it's fine. Nah. Oh, okay. Nah. He could have closed the, the door and jumped through as well, but nah. Oh, look, it's over here in Kaina. It is, yeah. There's only, like, four left to go. He's killed, like, a thousand. Oh no, he's getting tagged. He's going down his health bar. No. Oh no, he's not hurt at all. <laughs> oh no, he's. Oh. oh no, he is in no way injured. It'll yeah. be a big explosion, why not? There'll be some big explosion. He's going to be killed. Oh, no, by he Moff continues Gideon. to be impervious to f damage. Maybe Moff Gideon will get the final oh, shot. He's on him or something. Yeah. You should have pressed E to evade. They're not doing shit. I mean, this thing is happening. Just, just tackle them What's too, that? and yeah, you win. They're not doing anything to you. Lol. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Did he just pass. win? He's like, anything. oh shit. Yeah, I forgot I had infinite health. What's the reveal? Oh, oh the Praetorian God. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably like, what the, the fuck time. is this? Are you guys just worse than those guys? Because they had guns. You feel little tiny fucking shields. Dude, if and he still had his gun, they'd be blade. fucked. Oh no, Paz Vizsla, no. Oh no, you should have had better positioning than oh, walking in the middle no. of them. Oh no, he's going down. Oh, no, not he this guy. Oh, I guess they can. Oh, he's on the side. I don't. Wait, can I that go through know. Beskar? I don't fucking know. They're digging him into him. He's dead now. That's it for him. My favorite Paz. Thank God, oh, I'm no. a boring asshole who oh, doesn't bye. care about his son. <laughs> Most pointless death ever. This is 17 million credits lying on the floor. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, think, dude, all of those other bodies as well, right? Like, oh, that's it. Okay. Who, who wrote? Yeah, yeah, of course. Episode. Yeah, there we go. Damn, is that the worst episode of the season? Oh, God, there's so many oh, terrible very ones, well though. very well might be. Well, this I, one will I, be I, liked more so, by, I, think, I think, by people. So much action in it. So much there's so much pew-pew in it, yeah. yeah. That was like consequential, I suppose. Yeah, that's the so, other like, thing. All... Story actually happened in this one, so people will like it for that. Imagine mm -hmm. if like reinforced and set up any of the stuff that happened here, like in the prior episodes in the season. I get the impression, you know, when we ask for characters to have interactions, when like a gun is at John Favreau's head, and we're like, you absolutely now, because it's near the end of the season, you have to tell story, you have to have characters. He's like, okay, 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 and we get that scene where she's like, yeah, you know, I gave up because I was trying to save you guys. And, uh, yeah, that's that. And nobody has much to say about that. And it's like, there you go, I did it, character. And it's like, fuck. No, <laughs> doing it would have meant that other people there had something to say. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. He doesn't do it. That is him doing it. Like, I'm sure he's yeah, like, God, I give them a huge amount of character in this episode, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, like, yeah, man. So good. The only people who matter are like a handful, and nobody else really has a perspective on anything. Mando certainly doesn't have a perspective. <laughs> God, it's so bad. Look, a oh, giant Godzilla. Let's run right into yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's like, like the third surprise big creature attack. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? There's so many of them. It was so it's pointless so as well because they arrived at their destination. Yeah. And then it just it get blown like, up. It's like, oh, okay. Can you imagine? They're like, let's just, you know, they arrive in the script. And they're like, that's boring. Make it so Godzilla is there. And then, then we'll, <laughs> it'll be funny. And yeah. it's like, okay. And, and then I, the CGI I, I, artists I, are like, for fuck's sake. And right after that, guys, in case that wasn't enough, you've got like Mando Stormtroopers. <laughs> I said it would fucking happen, it's another- They've got that scaling problem, they need something to make us feel like oh. we might actually lose, and then we won't lose next episode, and it's like, oh, thank goodness we did it. The problem mm -hmm. with where they are now is becoming so stark to me, though, because, like, n you're right, none of this is in the sequels. They've got this story that they want to build up, but, like, it all still leads to the sequel trilogy, where, like, none of this is relevant. Matters. yeah. Mm -hmm. We know it's all gonna get resolved in that big Mando Wait. movie now, I guess. <laughs> it's just like John Wick, as you go, like was mentioned, is um, you realize, finally, Beskar's kind of amazing, and it should be yeah. used by other people. You're like, oh, it's what if the Empire been... used it? It's like, of course the fucking Empire would use it! What do you mean, what if? It's been one of my biggest complaints about this, like, the world building of Star Wars. Kind of since the beginning, the lack of armor that anyone uses. The shields that the droid Echas use. Because throughout all of Star Wars, you see random objects stopping blaster shots, even like thin pieces of metal. Or crocodiles. And things on the environment. Crocodiles, <laughs> yeah. They should be wearing crocodile hide. <laughs> yeah. As armor. But like, seriously, no one wears like Kevlar vests or the, the, the space equivalent of it. No one wears plates. You would think that in Star Wars, there would be this like, oh, everyone uses blasters. I should wear something blaster proof because of mm -hmm. the nature of my vocation. But no one does. And now they introduce Beskar, and it's a thing you could just sort of have, and it's kind of insane. And it was now well, that the Empire were like, you know those Mandos? 
They got a good idea with that armor. It's just so crazy how, like, Mandalore is this planet that exists with this crazy, like, natural resource. And, like, we just have to presume that the New Republic didn't care to look into it, even though Mandalore nope. is, like, an important place. Mm -hmm. Even in the Star Wars world, it's a relatively important place, and they never looked into it. But Moff Gideon's... Is it... Are we meant to actually believe that this, like, ties in at all to, like, Season 1 and 2 of Mando? That this was where it was all leading? <laughs> <laughs> Something we'll need is Baby Yoda to have a force payoff in the ne next episode. Yeah, they definitely will. Or, like... Like he'll be piloting the IG-12, I guess. Yeah, he now. has to like, do something that makes all of his fucking contributions to the season have a point. Because otherwise, it's otherwise it's useless. It, yeah. It's almost like what was happening now is that the writers have realized that they need to actually like have a plot. There needs to be something going on. And that maybe it should be something that has some well, connection to the character's history. I could see like, this, like John and uh, Dave being like, you know, these episodes, these are the ones that'll get the fucking a million out of ten scores. Because these are these are, we're putting all our, our effort for storytelling and special effects and... <laughs> <laughs> plot line in it. And you're just like, you know, guys, you can just make this level of story happen in all the episodes if you wanted. Actually well, possible. This, well, this level of story where it's still piss. Oh, what I mean is, like, events taking place. Like, uh... Because of yeah. course I think it's terrible, but like the the you can tell you can feel that formula so hard. Like we've we've completely switched now. It usually I think we talked about this when we started up episode uh, season two. Episode one will usually have some kind of story in it because it's like foundational, but this season really yeah. didn't. That whole like you know getting going going in the bath like I, that was barely story, especially compared to that Jack Black Lizzo episode. That one and then this one, it's like oh we've switched our goals again. Like completely. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine if they had taken the last episode and just not had it exist because it's worthless and fucking pointless. And they could tell, oh, like, they... at least work on trying and telling a story that wasn't crammed full of these these clunky scenes together. And they could actually spread it out to where it feels a bit more organic and we could spend some time with these characters. The only reason that episode six, the only thing you need from it is, is them going to recruit the Mandalorians. Because, like, the context that was provided was, like, worthless anyway. Mm -hmm. We're back to, like, a different kind of sludge, but, like, the kind of sludge that has been absent for this whole season of just throwing so much shit at the wall to see what sticks. This is what that one, this episode episode feels like you throw on everything you have there's mandalorians and all sorts of different mandalorians on mandalore new empire like troops and stuff revelations mando got captured wow i can't believe that i mean i can but i can't well you know what i can't believe is that they took his whistling beards off him once he was captured like i said he could have used it before that but he's too stupid but they don't take the helmet that they do yeah, take the jetpack but they don't take the helmet the i'm sorry but if you're an evil son of a bitch and you capture someone who desperately wants to keep the helmet on as part of their religion aren't you taking that shit off straight away especially yeah, when it's armor I too well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wasn't available. For yeah, this so that's true, but like, what I'm saying, it's almost out of character. I could see to Moff Gideon oh, being yeah. like, "You little shit, I've got you." Remember how much you've pissed me off? How much you've ruined my I plans? Do. Oh, nice helmet. Well, Boop. Actually, Moff Gideon's actually being. He's been pretty smart here because what Moff Gideon is thinking is, "No, no, no, leave his helmet on so that he can't access any of our computers." <laughs> It'll <laughs> recognize his face. We can't have that. Fact, Completely. Like, Mando used to be like impervious to harm, and now he's starting to become vulnerable. Now that he's basically being transitioned out of the main character. Yeah, his plot armor is cycling over to Bo-Katan That's true, now. Yeah, because yeah, he got captured in Man. episode two to enable all the crazy plot development stuff with Bo-Katan, and then of course him getting captured here. It's kind of incredible, isn't it? That like Since, the second um, he's no longer a main ca as the central character, all of his traits are shifting over to her. Since there's like three of you in chat right now who are qualified for this, how does it feel to watch Mandalorian get completely? sidelined like your favorite yeah. character from your show there getting getting completely removed okatan is gonna save him next episode and it's gonna be epic Whoa, and then they're gonna I defeat the mandalorians and the praetorian guard and they're gonna capture gideon oh, again or he'll just narrowly escape on his ship saying i'll like, get you next time i think they want to keep him up until that mando movie and oh definitely i'm not saying they were never gonna right. kill him they might capture him again because yeah. that doesn't mean shit does it they're not going to get rid of him before Thrawn shows up. Yeah, he's kind of no. like a... <laughs> Maybe Thrawn will kill him, and that'll be how they be like, see, Thrawn's a real cool dude. That's what I think, yeah. That that could be I an idea where they have him. Thrawn show up and kill him. I think I would keep, keep him. him. I would consider that one of our actual assets. He's an actor. We can actually give him something. And I guess I, I'm almost now curious of, like, there was a motivation of, you know, I want to see a planet that's just me. It's all me <laughs> and my influence. 
yeah. like reflective in everything. That's kind of interesting. Like, I don't think it will be interesting, but conceptually, that's kind of like, you know, somebody who looked at essentially like Django Fett and it's like, man, look at all the Django Fets in the world. What if it was me and I was in control and like I was in charge? It's a pity because we barely know anything about Moff Gideon after three seasons. We you really know? don't. He's been the main villain for th for now. It's going to be about 24 episodes. Well, I guess because he didn't show up until right at the end of the season, but like he is the main villain of this whole show. And what what is to be said about, oh, but pa he, Paz Vizsla is dead now, though. That's I'm the end so of fucking sad about that. He's my favorite. Wait, who? Yeah, that one. The Oh, yeah, he's looking better too. <laughs> What's funny Just though is. You fucking close the door after you go through it, you fucking retard. I'm so mad about I it. I can't believe they, they. It was a trap that had no payoff. They were just like, yeah. you're trapped. Now untrap them. <laughs> it's untrap like, them what? What's the so point? And they lost, by the way. Yeah. If the Mandos had stood yeah. and fought, they would have won. Fucking cowards. Yeah, they would have. Has Vizsla on his own defeated like 50 Yeah, of it's guys. so stupid. <laughs> Imagine they had, just, they had two of these mini laser guns or yeah. rail guns or whatever you want to call oh, them. Oh, they'd be duped. Yeah. yeah, and then Moff Gideon would be like, you know, we should invest in those. <laughs> like, they, they seem yeah, pretty also, damn good. How I don't know. about Mandalorians? Get some fucking laser rifles, as Rags already pointed out. They all have just stupid pistols. Oh, well, he, shot like, like, pistols. he shot like 50 times in that stupid fight because he's an incredibly large and slow target. But the thing is, yeah. nobody aims for his weak spots. They all hit him in no. the armor. You think if you just randomly, just by chance, again, Mando is probably one of the most armored. And maybe about 60% of his front surface is covered in armor. Mm -hmm. So the chances of him never getting hit in his unarmored parts are actually... Swim. impossibly low it's just yeah. not gonna happen well and uh it's annoying too because when he when he's in melee mode like he his gun overheats or gets destroyed whatever they all like f try to fight him like one-to-one -one combat when they have jetpacks when you just back the yeah. fuck up and keep shooting him yep and it's like you got jetpacks and they just never come back choreography like fucking sucks as it always does but yeah. someone's gonna say though is again because i could see people compliment in this episode maybe they it's too it's too far gone and they'll hit it no matter what. But, you know, previous episodes summarized, it's like, well, they did a side quest, it was completed, and uh, they've met up with the other Mandalorians. You're like, oh, okay. What about this episode? It's like, well, I mean, if I'm being a little generous, it's like, uh, remnants of the Empire all run a shadow council that have organized different resources together in order to rise once again, once uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn has joined them. And uh, they're worried about Mandalorians because they represent the biggest threat to stopping them. Which I don't even know how much I buy that, but whatever. I guess, and whatever. So they've, uh, you know, converged a lot of resources to trap them because they know that they're heading back to Mandalore. And when they did, it did some serious damage. We've got our protagonist has been captured. One of the main sort of, I don't know, soldiers that they have is dead. And um, their fleet, they didn't really give us, a, told us what happened with the fleet. They just, something's happened with it. Getting attacked. Danger. The thing is, I don't it's even buy that because bad. fucking even 20 bombers, I don't see what that's going to do against the fleet we saw. That's Especially big fleet. Crazy Bo Katan ships that we saw what they can do. They're exactly. like insane. Mando and her killed like what? Was it like 10 TIE fighters? Interceptors yeah, too. Yeah, but we have red shirt pilots now, so they're all gonna die. Oh, yeah, I we guess have expendable ones. Yeah. What I'm saying though yeah. is just that all of those things have happened, and I could see people talking about like how, see, no, there is story. Stuff is happening. Yeah, th th there's stuff happening, but none of it. They mentioned any Thrawn, sense, so that's gonna be context less. I could it's honestly like, see oh, yeah. John Favreau and Dave Filoni being like, people will love this because we said Thrawn. Probably, oh, but Thrawn yeah. was mentioned in season two as well. That was in the Ahsoka episode, but I guess that's what's funny is what, like, he's showing up in a different show. What's that one gonna have to do with Mando? But I'm sure Mando might pop up in its finale. I wouldn't be surprised. They, I could have. I wish I had the quote, but they they talked about the idea that it's gonna become an Avengers thing. We're gonna get all of them from all the shows, in, oh, that and it's gonna be that movie that thing. Like a, uh, there was like a thing where Kathleen Kennedy was announcing all the shows, some of which are not happening anymore. Yeah, like, oh. <laughs> about all leading up and culminating in a big event, and now we know what that event is. It's gonna be a Mando movie. So like. This Ahsoka, huh. I'm not sure what other ones, which other ones. Well, Bo-Katan, either this is now her show or she's going to get her own show. I'm not sure. Um, I think they want to keep Mandalorian going as a show, but they'll just make this her show. That'd be my guess, rather than spin it off. Because like, I think at this point it's pretty clear that like, yeah, we're sidelining Mando, which well, so this, I'm not. Like, yeah. I'm not That's the thing that everyone's that realizing is he's getting sidelined. But the thing that we want everyone to realize is that they're not sidelining anything. He was never anything anyway. He was never, yeah, it was he, never a thing. He was never really. a character. There was never anything that wasn't completely surface level. Oh. Anything that was potentially interesting with him is l far behind us. Orkatan is lame, but she's not as lame as him. Like she actually does have some character. Just history. Motivation. She made decisions. You can see her. Well, we can see yeah. her fucking face. That's that's. Uh, a, I don't. That's a I plus, but like. 
but it's yeah, awesome. like, like Mando could have been incredible, like, and we didn't have to see his face, of course. Yeah, but she, uh. she is a person with motivations and goals and history. So, like, I will if, say though, if, if gets side like I guess it's more just interesting in a meta sense. On the implied <laughs> point, I'm guessing of, of what Raja said is that you get to know more about how she feels about stuff because yeah. it's, it's more clear. Him, unfortunately, his voice tells you nothing. Well, it's because I don't know what the direction is and what is he meant to latch onto in terms of motivations. Who is he? Which is why I believe there was a big delay between two and three where he was negotiating staying in because he didn't fucking want to. Mm -hmm. It's a worthless show. If you if you knew this is where they're heading, it's fucking like why? What does this do for yeah. you as an artist? It's so like worthless in terms of character. There's just nothing to be gleaned from it. Yeah, I'm just it's clear they're making I've... it up as they go along. That like there's no clear ending in sight, but that a lot of the writing is dictated by fan service, merchandise, franchising, future films and TV shows and stuff. It's just it's devoid of a lot of the spark of like storytelling <laughs> it really is yeah it's yeah it, it does have that made up as it goes kind of feeling like someone like Season trying to one. come up with an impromptu dungeons and dragons campaign that oh they let's didn't be prepare. real you know season one was not leading to this like no. season one was not no, leading to was, yeah. Mandalore with stormtroopers with beskar armor who were maybe moff gideon clones like that's such a Damn shame, because if we, like, this could have been a show about a cool bounty hunter going from bounty to bounty in yep. each season or each couple episodes was about him tracking down or doing different bounties. And we didn't have to have this massive connection to some TV show or some big Mandalorian thing. It was just he's a guy he's going around and we get to see like the daily life of a bounty hunter going all across the galaxy, working within different laws and customs and rule sets from planet to planet, capturing different kinds of people, whether they're um, ex-imperials that the New Republic needs, whether it's like aristocrats, or whether it's, who knows, maybe he has to uh, apprehend another Mandalorian or something. That Wouldn't that be interesting? But we just don't, we never, that's all, fuck it. This is never, never going to be a bounty hunter show. We saw it in episode one, as soon as they introduced Baby Yoda, and we didn't know it yet. That was the point when it was sealed that it wasn't going to be that kind of show, that it was always going to tie directly into the Jedi. And then, of course, the fact that this is Disney and they have an interest in franchising. Like, Imagine it was, it was that. when he's, like, playing with Baby Yoda right at the end, because he puts his finger up to him and it's like imagine telling us when we saw that for the first time he's gonna be with that baby every episode for three and a half seasons at least jesus fucking christ i i would have never that baby can't fucking talk i guess it's confirmed that he could like understand can talk that's another thing. Know. <laughs> that's the thing that this one established that I guess he can sort of understand what people are saying, which seems to be like, I bet if we went back and looked at a whole bunch of stuff retroactively, that might cause a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. But I guess yep. that's what we're doing now. Um, Remember, he has a grasp on morality as well. Like, you can't tell us that and also have him be fucking around with all kinds of crazy things that get gets Mando in trouble. Well, remember in epi er, an episode, I think it was seven of the first season, he almost force choked to death Cara Dune because they were were he because she was arm wrestling with Mando and the baby started to force choke her when he saw that. That's what I brought up so, with the when he when Mando said he didn't learn that from me when he broke up the fight. I was like, yeah, he did. Literally, he did. You you taught him that you shouldn't fucking attack people. But I guess they forgot that because there's no way that he's saying like he learned that from Luke or some shit. This is what I mean. It's like annoying. Like you could actually have used that. Could have been that one of them was strangling the other and then Yoda stops it and it's like ah, oh, it's because. Mando stopped him from doing it. That's something. Man, that part where Grogu got the mech. God, that went on for so long. It did. It's hard to yep. believe it was in the same episode. A lot Jeez. of it goes on for ages. That whole fucking chess fight, whatever that was. Like, why? What a joke. What does that serve? Like, because Paz Vizsla is dead just, now. But it shows that the Mandalorians are other, the infighting, but baby immature Yoda. children. At, at his core, Baby Yoda knows we shouldn't be fighting. We should all be friends. That's oh, what, man. That's what that scene was. So useful. Maybe it'll come up in the next episode. Well, the, I mean, Didn't, of course, Remember Moff Gideon was obsessed with getting Baby Yoda? He doesn't care about that. Yeah. That's why care. again? That, that's that's a, God already. He, he to emphasize... Or something. Emphasize yeah. how stupid that ambush was, by the way. They knew the Mandos would come here. They're going to lead them directly into that room and trap them, and then they had no plan. If you gassed them, you'd capture them all. <laughs> and and this was an ambush, so you knew they would be coming exactly. that way. Exactly. This should have been a gas. Knocked them all out. It should have been, up. yeah. They're, that or like the, the floor electrocutes or the floor something. gives way to some... 
something. Why, how, you come, know what? how come I think tie interceptors didn't come up and gun them all down? A prediction for what might be, because we never resolved the plot thread of the pilot finding the best guy with him having escaped. What if, like, the next episode has, like, the New Republic come in, the Mandalorians are getting defeated, but then a New Republic fleet shows up and Mandalorian helps them defeat And all because of that one pilot. They'll show up and then it'll be like, ah, see, you know, maybe... Maybe yeah, the Republic ain't so bad after ending. all. Yeah, pretty much. And then credits will roll, yeah. and after yeah. it, you'll have like a message where Gideon is like, "We need help. We would destroy blah blah." blah. And then you hear the voice of Thrawn, yeah. and he's like, yeah. "I am arriving." You're like, I'm oh! working on it. You can see that in Ahsoka launching, like I don't know, this year. <laughs> Thrawn, on Thrawn will return yeah. in Ahsoka. <laughs> like, yeah, it's really lucky that Moff Gideon decided to not kill Mando and just so, take him to the debriefing room. I was like, why? No, Dude, not, how fucking? I think I might have why, actually why said you... uh, kudos to the show if he had taken the helmet off himself and executed him just with a pistol. Yeah, um, that would have been that would have been gutsy. Yeah, but they were like, nah, 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 Paz Vizsla, That's yeah. Paz Vizsla is as far as we can go. What can you possibly want with? With Mando, they just have a talk, have a little evil speech, and then he escapes it's, so he can save the other ones yeah. or whatever. It's it's the Doctor Evil school of villainy, yeah. you know. It's just just fucking kill him. Who on wants the to spot. bet? Just in, do it in Mando's prison cell. He's just got the full armor. <laughs> he's just walking around in <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, they're not gonna take For it off. Sure. Then again, it could be that they take it off next episode, and the uh, you know uh, Pedro Pascal came in for filming one episode. I could believe he'd do that. Yeah, he'd probably come in for the finale because they'll take the helmet off then. Yeah, yeah, and they'll pay him more. They gotta, they gotta give him a little sure. bit of face time. Oh, they're totally gonna do the thing where his helmet gets damaged and he has like a lot, some of his face showing through the helmet. They're I don't totally know if they're gonna, gonna do, do that. I think they'll just. Take I don't it think off. they'll do that. No, but I, I, to be honest with you, I would put money on not taking the helmet off at all. But they might do it because it's the last episode, which they tend to in the last episode of the yeah. season. All right, Mando, season three, yeah. episode seven. Great, excellent, wonderful. Ooh. Bye. Bye. See you later. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, boy. Grogu is too young to operate heavy machinery. What'd you bring me? What'd you bring me? I think he's saying. What'd you bring me?